outdoor, playing sports, or hanging out with friends, loud noises and bright lights might not bother you, but that's not the case for everybody, especially those with autism. WCI3's Amanda Brennan joins us today. Amanda, hundreds gathered to spread awareness about just this. That's right. That happened in Savoy. It was a resource fair and walk with sensory friendly activities, and that's exactly what many families did. Now, it's all in connection to the CU Autism Network's Walk and Resource Fair. The CDC says about one in 36 kids have been diagnosed with autism, and it's nearly four times more common in boys than girls. Now, many organizations are trying to help. Sometimes, especially when you get that autism diagnosis, the next question is now what? Now what? Where do I go? What do I do? Many people in Savoy are working to get answers to those questions, such as Dr. Daniel Fox. We have the 12th annual Autism Walk and Resource Festival. The goal is simple, to help kids like Rocket Hardy. I am like everyone else, but a bit different. His mom, Julie Duvall, is the president of the CU Autism Network. She knows firsthand how the diagnosis can impact a family. Oftentimes it's hard for us to go to movies. Uh, to, we have a, a Christmas event. It's hard for us to go to see Santa. She knows she's not alone. Oftentimes uh, individuals have a hard time with lighting, noises, uh, smells. So when she helped organize this year's autism walk, she made sure there were plenty of sensory friendly activities. This is just an environment that we all get it and we all look out for each other's kids. CU Autism Network hosts this event every year. <laughs> this one is in honor of the late Senator Scott Bennett. Senator Bennett was a big advocate uh, for people in the disability world. We want to make sure that the people in this disability world know that there are people who care and are going to do everything we can to pick up that mantle and, and move forward and find resources and create awareness around this really important issue. Educators and volunteer groups say they're happy politicians like Paul Faraji are carrying on Bennett's legacy and advocating for people with disabilities. No matter how different you are, no matter how you learn, um, you are just as important and your um, things that make you special are what make you stand out. It is absolutely important to understand that we need to accept autism in our community. And Dr. Fox says if you get an autism diagnosis and don't know where to turn, he wants to help connect you with the right people. We have that information online on our website, WCIA.com. Marley. Amanda, thank you so much. Today was also the kickoff of the network's push for regional autism support center in Champaign. They're trying to raise $1 million to build it. If you want to donate towards the project, head over to our website.